What would you do in the heart of the Amazon? When your purpose is clear, you serve the purpose. When you don't have a purpose, you're confused. You can be a victim. But if you serve a purpose, you just become a servant. I became a servant of one thing. Life needs to be maintained. Because now I needed to stay alive. Nothing. I, there was no place for fear, just place for action. Victim is a state of mind. It's not a real situation. And that state of mind changed dramatically and never returned, never returned. He's jumping out, he's bleeding, he's holding his knees, knees slashed, he's screaming, the machete! I just turned around and said, look, do not stand between a young man and his dream. That's all I told him. Dream is basically creating a reality, the rest is technical. If you like have a vision and you see where you want to go, the rest is technical. How do you, what do you do to serve it? That's as simple as that. If you can penetrate a dream of somebody and, and, and ignite that, there's no salesmanship needed. When you have purpose, then, you know, sacrifice makes sense. If you don't have purpose, why sacrifice? What did I tell you? We left civilization, flew into the Amazon. For four days we were walking deep into the Amazon. And after four days, um, we arrived to a small community of Sariamas. This was the last, there's nothing past that community. For four days we were walking down a trail. Now there's no trail. And when there's no trail, how do you make the next pass? Do you take the machete and cut the vegetation? There's no trail. The only things that we could follow were little tributaries, rivers, creeks, and because the water source will guide us through the forest. But walking by the water is the hardest because the closer to the water, the denser the vegetation. So what we did, we jumped into the rivers, into the creek, and we're trying to walk as much as we could in the water. Completely wet, our stuff heavy, starting developing uh, blisters and rashes. It wasn't easy at all. And we walk like that for a day and nothing, nothing to eat. And we're starving, but we have no food. Because Carl said it's very silly to take food into the Amazon. We have rice, we have beans, and we have a shotgun. So we'll, we'll, we'll hunt. <laughs> but on the river, everything changes. Carl is like a shape in some sort. The only one of us that doesn't know how to swim is Carl. So on the raft, Kevin is taking leadership, but Carl is not about to give leadership up. So both of them are fighting and screaming, and Kevin is giving instruction, Carl is giving the opposite instruction, and we are split. Marcus follows Carl, and I stayed by Kevin. The river became very narrow as we entered the canyon. The sheer cliff started building from both sides. We started shooting rapids when we hear a terrible noise and we see, we see the huge rock and then came the, the heat. And before we know it, we're on the boulder, hanging on the raft, climbing back on the raft, on the boulder. The other side is the waterfall. We stand on the waterfall with our raft trapped in the middle.